I'm going to be sharing with you guys step by step on how to apply for a job from outside of Canada and get hired then move to Canada. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Manny. If you're new, if you're seeing me for the first time, but if you're a total subscriber, oh what's up, how are you doing, you know how we do. On this channel, I post food, family, lifestyle, aesthetics. I basically just share my life with you guys. So if you're interested, please kindly subscribe. Even if you're not, even if you're not interested, please kindly subscribe. Thank you. Recently, Canada has created a program called the LMIA, which is the Labor Market Impact Assessment Program for foreigners to you know, apply for jobs in their own country, get a working permit and move to Canada. What this program does is to allow companies and employers to hire foreign workers into Canada to fill in specific job shortages in Canada. So if, for instance, a permanent resident cannot do the job or a Canadian cannot do the job, that is where a foreign worker comes in. In a second, I'm going to be sharing with you guys step by step on how to apply for a job from outside of Canada and get hired, then move to Canada. Before I do that, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, share, and also leave a comment. So what is an LMIA work permit? LMIA work permit is a closed work permit. There are two types of work permit which I'm not going to you know give you details because it will be a long video. One is an open work permit but this LMIA is a closed work permit. What this closed work permit means is that if you're hired by an employer you're required by the government of Canada to work according to the description and the specification of your employer right that means you cannot change jobs you have to work in the same location till you get another work permit. So as long as your work permit is closed, is LMIA, you're required to work under the specifications of your employer. So what occupations are eligible for this work permit that you can apply from your country? So if you work in the agricultural sector, you're a butcher, you're a farmer, perfect everything agricultural then if you work in the healthcare sector a support worker physician nurse doctor you are good you can apply then if you're a caregiver you know because of the number of aged people they need caregiver as well and technology if you're a tech guy and a tech girl yes it is a perfect opportunity for you to get jobs and come to Canada. This is a very beautiful opportunity that Canada is giving for foreigners to move to Canada. If you fall under the following categories I've just mentioned, then you are good and you can get a job as quickly as possible if you're smart and I'm going to tell you how your application process will be and the things you're going to do on the next steps, okay? Where can you find these jobs? Okay, I have three websites. You can also do your own research. One is zigojobs.com, which I'm going to include in my bio. The other one is Canada Job Bank. Then I have the ultimate one, indeed.com. As I was speaking to you guys, I decided to go online to check for the salaries of jobs with LMIA. Apparently, it's still the same thing with open work permits. The only difference is that if you have a contract to work for, a certain company at a particular time you just have to work with the company you cannot change which other countries do too i just saw like jobs lmia jobs so i saw a commercial truck driver is like 45 to 77 thousand canadian dollars on the average then farm manager actually not become a farmer is <laughs> Okay, 35 to 40, 49,000, just kidding. Then we have for a caregiver, 31, oh, 32,000 to like 59,000 on an average yearly, which is good. 
then for project manager in a construction industry oh my god it's for 92,000 to 142,000 Canadian dollars yearly then we have for um drillers and oil and gas industry we have for nurses which ranges from like 80,000 to like 95,000 per year which is really 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 good so how to apply okay before we talk about how to apply the good thing about this is that which i have seen and it worked for somebody you can apply for the work permit and come to canada with your family if you get a job and your visa is, um, is approved you can move to canada with your family your fiance your boyfriend i knew somebody that applied as a tech guy and also brought his girlfriend in as much wait this is good this is good this is amazing imagine you know you're thinking about how am i going to leave my family behind you can apply and come with your family wow that's amazing so how do you apply for this LMIA jobs outside of Canada. I just mentioned three trusted websites. You can do some research by yourself. I'm sure you're going to find something. So once you find a job, you apply to, they can Zoom call you um, for interviews. Some companies requires you to write exams. So once you pass that process or you get hired by an employer, the employer is going to issue you a letter right basically once you get the job that is being offered by your employer in Canada he is going to provide what is called national occupational classification so with that you'll be good to go to apply for your visa let's take for example your employer doesn't give you the national occupational classification copy there is a number that he's going to give you or an LMIA assessment copy I, I think that's what they call it I am not too sure or it will come under your employment letter with that you'll be good to begin your work permit visa application so let's move over to how to apply for your work permit outside of Canada and get it because it's one thing getting a job in Canada and it's another thing you actually knowing how to apply for the visa and getting the visa so i'm going to take you guys step by step on how you're going to apply for your work permit outside of canada when applying for your work permit you need to apply through the ricc website i'm going to leave everything on my description make sure that you take your time read my description go online explore you know learn about things yourself and see what option is best for you once you go to the RICC website you're going to take an assessment that will guide you on how to apply for your specific visa these are the things to keep in mind when applying for a visa not just this um, work permit visa any other visa you need to convince the officer that you're going to go back to your country at the end of your work okay so doing this you can like do a family tie if you own a business include it if you have any asset landed properties every other thing that you have that it's you know dear to you include it another primary thing is proof of funds make sure that you have enough money this is from me to you if you're moving to a new country make sure that you plan ahead of time have enough fund that okay for instance in canada you pay rent every month but in nigeria you pay rent yearly make sure that you have enough funds that will cover you and you need to show the office that okay even if things goes wrong our and everything i planned in canada didn't work i can still afford to go back to my country so you need at least 40 to 35,000 canadian dollars to be on a safe side i don't know if that's my own opinion or maybe like 10 to 15 thousand if you are an individual but if you're coming with family you need more money okay 
you need more money just know that another thing is criminal record do not wait for them to ask because in order for you to expedite your visa process you need to make sure that you're given a complete information so they don't have to like oh there's no criminal there is no police report we'll just keep it there they move that's how you get moved and your application just sits somewhere because you didn't do your own work on how to apply properly so what i have said is make sure that you include your family ties try to tell the officer that you'll go back and mean it that you go back after your duration or whatever you have to do in canada proof of funds show the officer that you can take care of yourself and that in any circumstances you can still go back and you have like a plan b funds that can cover that then another one is criminal record make sure that you include a police clearance from your country and you don't have any intention to come to canada and you know you know what i'm talking about to cause any trouble you need to show the immigration officer that what you're coming to do you don't have skeletons in your cupboard so yes it is really important the next thing is medicals you need uh, medical examination before you come inside Canada just for them to know that you're not bringing any virus any um, what do they call it is it transferable or transmittable diseases into Canada I know in Nigeria there are two places you can do it in Abuja and Lagos because Canada don't just accept random medical res um, results because some people can be very funny they can just lie about it so you have to go to those two specific um locations to get your medicals done so far we've talked about the family ties we've talked about the fundings we've talked about the criminal records we talk about the medicals now we're going to be talking about the additional documents for the additional documents right you can attach pictures later of explanation like what I used to do if there are any documents missing or if there is anything I know that the officer may not understand I write later of explanation and right now Canada is even prioritizing essential support workers visa so if you fall under this category you can get a visa to Canada with you and your family very quickly I'm going to put the link in my description box make sure that you click the link and make sure that everything that you're reading is from the RICC website everything that you're applying for it should be from the RICC website you don't need anybody to do this for you if you know how to solve the net if you know how to just look for things on the internet you can get this done by yourself just quietly do it day by day step by step start by looking for LMIA jobs outside of Canada. It's even less tedious now, so the process is not too much. The hiring stage would be a bit draining, but if you determine to do it, you can do it. If you have any questions, do not forget to DM me on IG or leave a comment on the comment section. I'm definitely going to respond to you. So all the best and see you guys in Canada.